Hey, look, we're back. And where we last left off, the game fucking cheated. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, I won that fight, and then it was like, <laughs> I'm going to keep throwing the attacks at you and kill you, lol. But either way, whatever. Again, I would like to say hello to my newest sub, David Scully. Welcome, I hope you enjoy your stay here. And before we start the video, I want to talk about what's happening in the video game industry before I get going. So, what's happening in the video game industry? We're getting a new Aliens game, which should be called for relation. And then we saw the demo of what it was, and it's just like, oh, it's just Colonial Marine slash Left 4 Dead. And it's like, personally, my hype's gone. I, I'm just so cynical about this kind of thing nowadays because I can see it and I'm like, I can smell the corporate in this. I can legitimately like sit here and smell corporate like jerking off to this idea. Now, I know why they're doing this because it's a trend. Remember how in the in Alien Isolation, it was just one alien hunting you and that game did stupidly well because of it because it replicated all the fear and intensity and just stress of the first Aliens movie, you know, still to this day, it's most popular one. It just recreated that in video game form. Yeah, turns out when you have, when you have just one alien, it's like, this is terrifying. I can't fight this thing. It's showcasing how powerful these aliens are and how realistically we'd have no chance fighting these things. But when you make it just like a horde, you just turn them into like zombies mode and like, Call of Duty or Left 4 Dead, they, they lose their fear factor because it's like, obviously what you're going to do is give us enough firepower to take this on. They're not scary anymore. That's why the first Alien movie was so great, because there was this constant tension of this thing being literally anywhere. You had to be quiet, you had to hide yourself, you had to use trickery to get away from it. If you don't, you're fucked! And that's what Alien Isolation did. And don't get it twisted. Alien Isolation sold well, and its launch year alone sold 2 million copies, and over the years it's probably risen up to like 3 to 4 million. But for the people at the top who are okaying these decisions, that's not enough. These companies don't just want to make a profit anymore. It's not enough to make a profit anymore. Making enough money to make a return on something isn't enough anymore. That's why they constantly, I've already talked about this, but the reason they push live services so much is because they want unlimited money. They want more money than literally exist on the planet with all their games. And they know with live service models, they can put, they can make the maximum amount of profit with the least amount of work. However, unlike all the successful ones, they don't want to put in the time and effort to make it good. They don't want to put in the time and effort of Final Fantasy XIV, or No Man's Sky, or Destiny 2, or any of the ones that are successful. They don't want to put in the work. They just see, hmm, if we just throw these things together and then add a thing that's already popular in there, it'll make us a bajillion dollars, right? Right? And it's just this constant just showcase of like, no, that's not how it works. You need to put in the work for this thing to be popular. And if you don't, it's just going to fail. I don't want aliens to fail, but it's like, I'm just constantly tired of seeing concepts that should be stup doing stupidly well. The Aliens franchise is still beloved, as we literally saw with Alien Isolation, and like the lowest score I saw for that game was like a 7. If the lowest score you see for a game is a 7, that tells you it's a good game. But no, they just want to follow trends and do the lowest possible denominator and blindly throw trends and just give us it's something that we've already had before and just put a popular name behind it and think that was enough to make them a bajillion dollars. So this game's gonna fail, just like all these other games failed, just like Evolve failed, just like every other Left 4 Dead, just like the Walking Dead one failed, just like how they always, always fail. And then they're gonna blame everyone else but themselves, the, com the developers at the bottom level are gonna get fired for it while the CEOs uh, keep breaking in their millions and go visit Epstein Island. Rinse repeat ad nauseum. TED Talk over. Let's get into a game that's actually good though. I'm just tired of it, man. I'm just tired of being here and seeing the problems that can and will happen as these companies either refuse to or just don't or just don't care. And then franchises just keep getting worse and worse. It's just utterly frustrating. Oh, that's a nice kimono you got there. Hey, look, she's wearing a mask. You can wear one too, you idiots. Then again, I've heard like the, the amount of people getting affected with COVID is really low in Japan because they already naturally wore masks. So it was like, yeah. Mount Iba Park. Don't wanna... Hmm. You know what? I'm actually gonna go back. I'm gonna check the stores and see if there's anything I want first. I also need to shop and get buy a good, uh, better gear for everybody. That's also a thing I need to do. 
I'll do that when I get back on the bus. Uh, no, I don't care about those. I don't care about showtime increases. Let's see, Bhutan. I have their ingredients. I have those items still. There's no reason to be here. Yeah, let's take me to the arcade. Anything here that I might want? Oh, right. There's also the velvet room right here. I'm pretty sure I can't quite get anything yet, but maybe we'll check. Welcome to the velvet room. You wish to strengthen it? Yeah, can I strengthen High Pixie anymore? How much power will you add? Not enough. How about her pal? How much power will you add? Also not enough. We'll just strengthen her pal then. Well, no, we'll strengthen High Pixie because she's a higher level. How much power will you this is what you... The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Mm-hmm. Performing a fusion. I want that Archangel. Can't get that Archangel. Okay, wait, what's Archangel with this? Arsen nope, not Burning House Sin. I'm still using him. Wait a second. <laughs> you wish to browse the entry? Please take a look. Nah, because I want to bring them back. So, no go on there. Yes. May luck be on your side. Wait a second. No, I'm not doing that. Ah, that's too much work. Probably, uh, I'll keep struggling through it. Anything new here? Give me bananas. Items will be nice. Uh, give me this ice cream. $3 for each cup. Well, actually, that's really cheap in comparison to what we have here. I don't know if I went to Brewster's, it'd be like, oh, you want three ice cream cones? That'll be like 12 bucks. Allow me to take your order. Stay don't safe. need this. Yo, this man's tall. I don't like that smile he has, but that man is tall. Wait. <laughs> hey, look. It's his twin. Uh, anything here? I'll take this yakisoba. Thank you. Oh god, I'm starting to pay attention to the characters in the background. They're just caught looping over each other. Oh no, I should have started paying attention. Alright, Big Bang Burgers are like cheaper at night, right? I understand why they're limiting how many items I can buy, but that'd just be a very, very bad restaurant model. Let's be real here. Can you hold so that's what you get? Can you hold so that's what you can you hold all that? We recommend. Can you hold so that's what you're getting? Oh shut up. I can hold all of it. I'll be waiting. Okay, now we can head back to Mount Iba Park. Let's see if there's anything we can collect. Anything new we can collect anyway. Oh right, someone actually said a comment like talking about how they're really enjoying my playthrough so far, and that makes me unironically happy. Thank you. Like, again, I know it sounds cheesy and stupid and lame, but no. Legitimately, the reason I do shit like this is because I just like... Yeah, I'll buy one of these. I just legitimately like playing games, and anyone who's able to just get the enjoyment as much as I am when I'm playing, it, I'm happy. I play games, and I'm doing this because I want to bring joy. What was that? Chick Maria something? I'm already gonna make a salmon bowl. Sure, I'll buy one of these. I guess on ironic we want to bring joy, and it just makes me happy when someone is enjoying something as much as I am. Especially when it's something I truly do care about. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, give me a second. Go away, Boise Hears. I, been, I need to probably unsubscribe to him. I haven't been watching this stuff in, like, actual year now. Hey, guys. Sorry to bring up business when we're all tired and stuff. That's no problem. Oh, I need to put on auto. Oh, no, you're fine. I think we're all feeling a lot better now that we've eaten. So, what did I you I'm afraid you actually just sit like Futaba. It's kind of weird. Something about I'm not sure how he's able to, like, handle it. Nope, not Natsume. This is about Alice. Alice? I was looking into this even after we changed her heart back in Shibuya. But it looks like some of her fans never reverted back to normal. <sighs> how can that be? I thought we released all of the desires she stole. Yeah, we, we saw them all go back to their owners, right? We did, but some people still get set off if you criticize Alice even just a little. There are reports of people getting threatened and even attacked. 
seriously messed up. Their obsession with Alice hasn't dissipated? Maybe they're just... I'm thinking maybe some desires haven't returned to their owners. Or maybe just some people are just so fanatical. It's possible they haven't returned. There's a lot we still don't understand about the jails. So we can't exactly rule that out. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that the Shibuya jail didn't disappear. Hmm. That is concerning. We need more information. Oh, wait. Which one did I choose? Yeah. Whoops. It'd help if we had a little more to go off. Why not just visit the jail? As much as I'd love to do that, we can't just leave here and go back. There's no need to go back. I meant you should visit the Shibuya jail from here. Oh, is this huh? my... What is this mean? my saying, hey, you can go back I to jails you've already been to? Shibuya jail. I've wondered if we might be able to get back inside. Hoping to find out? I put in the keyword earlier. Sure enough, I was given access to the Shibuya jail. I couldn't do the same with the Sendai jail, however. So it may have something to do with the fact that the jail no longer has its monarch. It works somewhat like a backdoor function, I think. So we can enter even though we're nowhere near the same place in the real world? We certainly couldn't do that with the palaces. Just the idea of a metaverse existing without an owner is a first for us. I guess our experience with the palaces can only help us so much here. Dude, this is pretty sweet though, ain't it? We can basically warp to Shibuya now, right? No. Not quite. It's not as if you could leave the jail and appear in the real world, Shibuya. You can only visit the jail from here. Leaving will simply take you back to where you first entered. I suppose things wouldn't be that convenient. This is still better than nothing, though. Thanks for looking into that, Sophia. Yeah, that's super helpful. I've made myself useful. That's the spirit. I will continue to do my best. All right. How about we check out the Shibuya Jail later on, then? No objections here. As for the Sendai Jail, let's meet up at the hideout once we're ready. We'll oh, we're already ready. I already had everything I needed to do. I should buy better items for everybody. You can now enter a jail in another city at the hideout, choose Explore Jail, and then yeah. So now I can hop between jails, which means that's how I'm going to be able to go back and fight Raja Naga later. Not doing it now, but later. So about going back to Shibuya Jail, I gather some info and listen to them like requests for you. Take a look when you get to the hideout. Oh, so we have request again. The request feature has been added. The request must be accepted before they can be completed to accept the request. Oh, so yeah, requests are back. Uh, give me one second. Now then. How do I open that request thing? Or can I not? I have to go into the hideout to assist your request. Yeah, I had to go. I can't just do it from the the world view anymore. How can't get anyone a better weapon, correct? Excuse me. Yes, I can get you a better weapon. Why would a metal yo-yo be fifty dollars? Whatever. Protectors. Cosmic shirt, no rage, it's pretty good. You want this? You want to that? Put it to yes, I do. Okay? Please, I need better defenses. You want this? You want to that? Thank you very much. <laughs> Water crown. Hey, no burn. That's pretty good. Put it to good use, okay? Lady stress, no rage again. Thanks for your patronage. God damn it, now someone's commenting and upvoting my thing. Get out of here. I'm playing for Zona 5 Strikers. Probably just turn that off during um oh whoops. Probably turn that off during an LP. I think you're fine. Who is it for? I need to sell some stuff. What are you selling? Are you sure? All these materials. All these weapons I'm not gonna be using. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? I can sell all of these, which are worse. Are you sure? Are you sure? And sell this. I guess people on the black marker are buying my shit. Oh wait, I don't need accessories yet. I don't need to change Futaba's thing, I feel like. I feel like, oh wait. I'm questioning the, the logistics of allowing... Okay, so, she's a computer program. 
What's stopping from top from just like making clothes for her? Don't look too far into it. Your brain will explode. Did I buy something for Futaba? Okay, no, I didn't do it. Um, let's check how many accessories you have. I don't care about the reducing damage. I care about avoiding the oh, yeah, I don't care about reducing damage. Ooh, yeah, give me those discounted items. Hello? Impulse buyer. Alright, let's go. Your request. Take back the desire. You're accepting this request? Everyone else seems to have gone back to normal, but my boyfriend's still obsessed with Alice. Defeat remaining. Please help him. Time to get to work. Oh, so that's how requests work. Explore jail. Shibuya. Back to the Shibuya. Keep your guard up. Back to the Shibuya jail then. Neat. That was one thing I was kind of always iffy on in the Persona 5, though, was like, you better get everything the first time around in here, or there's no coming back. And I get from, like, a story standpoint why I made it sense, but it was just, like, one of those tiny what? nitpick things. Wow, we really made it back to the Shibuya jail. Told you. This even went with wow, 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 and everything, too. That means... Hmm, it seems jails are truly different than palaces. So what do we do now? Let's look around and see if we can find a desire that didn't return yeah. to its owner. But this place is rather large. This is going to be like finding a needle in a haystack. We can track it down mm -hmm. somehow. Wait, I'm getting a faint scent. There's a treasure. I mean, desire over there should be a crossing. For real? Right, I can't do it anywhere near as well as Ryuji's voice actor. Nice sniffing, Mona. Let's get it out there. Explore. Go to checkpoints. Where should we be a crossing? Or is it just here? Oh, wait. I guess we should go from here, Maruku City. And probably switch persona. Yeah, I need to switch persona here. Yeah, you're fine. Focus. Show me your true self. Gimme. That was almost too easy. I'll reveal I mean, these guys are gonna be real low level, so all these guys should be easy. I should just be able to spam all that attack. This should just be free HP for me. Yep. You call that a fight? Good stuff, guys. Keep it coming. Can't go up that, so that's fine because I need to go this way. Hmm, I wonder what yep. this is. Now's our chance to ambush them. Oh, they treasure chest. How'd I miss this? Yeah, this is just for the sake of farming. I'm not complaining, I'm just, yeah, that's what's happening here. Thank you. What's that? Uh, that was fast. Let's move on. Careful, there's a shadow lurking around. Where are you? There. I should actually switch to Ryuji here. Yeah, just so I can increase his stuff. Switch back to Joker. Change out the units that I need to actually get some levels on. It's not going to be a lot of EXP, but every piece of EXP counts. So on... There we go. Focus. And then I should play with a different unit as well while going through here. Bang! There's my girl. I love Haru's going into, going into the uh, battle, because it's like, I'm about to fucking murder you. Oh. And she blew your crossing. Huh? Wait a sec. Yo, ain't that? Is that 
A desire? No, th this desire is mine. Oh, this is my treasure hole. No one can have it. Wait, but no, it's a jack jack o' lantern. Pyro Jack is mine. Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Haru. Oh, come on. Cyclone. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that either. Nope, get the cyclone, get the cyclone, get the cyclone. Oh, hi. Mission complete. That was easy. Wait, did I just go in a big circle? What the hell was that about? More importantly, isn't this? It seems that. It seems like th this was a desire left here, just as Orclo mentioned. Yeah, but why is it left behind? Did someone pocket it? Pocket? Yeah. Hey, what are you staring into my pouches? By pocket, you mean someone stole it, right? But that shadow ruler said the sire was his. I'm thinking he didn't return to the original because he had enough mitts on it. Yeah, he stole it. Hey, hey where'd it go? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And since we took it down, the desire was finally released. Then would that mean that Alice's fan who was still acting strange is back to normal? Anyways. So you're telling me that every K-pop stan out there who's fanatical to their to their stands are because they have their desires taken. Understandable. Yes. True. Let's head back to the hideout for now. Oh yeah, I just could have went straight forward. I didn't realize I started in the Shibuya thing. Bonk. That was quick and easy. I'd like at least a little more challenge. I doubt I got enough points to do anything, but I can at least check. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Persona. You wish to strengthen it. A thousand, maybe. No. And no. Okay. Needed. Well, I checked. I just wanted to check. Time to head back. On your side. Yoish. And return from jail. All right. Okay, let's go serve the weapon, track down some useful intel. Let's get to work. So, did the person who was part who still had his desires taken? Here's what request? I found. Yeah. You're already working on Everyone else seems to be back to the uh, report. Hey. Well, any luck so far? Uh, nothing yet, but I'll let you what? know. Oh, strike that. Here we go. A bunch of people who went off the deep end for Alice got together and posted a public apology online. We're truly sorry for causing too much trouble over a celebrity. Our actions were wrong, and we apologize to both the people and to Alice. Okay, not only that, the so-called anti-Alice people are saying they're not getting harassed anymore. They're even accepted the apology. Oh, that's convenient. I see. The desires that went back to their owners. We were, able, we were really able to undo their changes of heart. Exactly as planned. Yes. Based on what Futaba told us, I don't have any doubt. However, there's a chance the situation isn't wholly resolved. Remember, we have no idea if there are more cases like mm. this. So there are shadows that go after desires we release back to the people. I don't think we should call these cases closed until we take down those shadows but too. Then... Yeah, but how the hell are we going to find them? We can find them and Morgana sniffs out the desires they're holding. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Hello. It's excellent. Let's leave it to the Phantom Nose. Hey, that's not my title. Anyway, it looks like we've got a whole other fight lined up for us now. We should have Futaba and Sophia search for any other cases like this. We're counting on you two. I got it. Radical dude. I'll let you know ASAP. Radical. Okay, the Phantom T's Intel tag team is ready and raring to go. If any of you come across another situation like this, send it my way. I'll compile the relevant info and list it up for you. Kind of like how we used to throw, use the request on the fan site. Yes. This way we can resolve these... Speaking of the fan site, where's Mishima? We can resolve these requests and make progress in our infiltration at the same time. Sounds like our hands are starting to get full. Let's do our best out oh, there, everyone. Listen up. Almost forgot. There you go. The No Good Desire Pocket Shadow dropped it. Mission accomplished. A helping hand. Hey. Moto hoodie. Tomorrow's our final siege for Nasumi's castle. We need to be our good and ready for whatever we may throw at us. 
Oh, okay. I was just kind of forced to do that. All right. Just force me to go to the next day. <laughs> Let's go. Tomato. One second. This tomato is really good. Yeah, I said a raw tomato. He mad? You receive a quest of the progress of the story. They will be indicated by the rec icon on the upper left side of the screen. Requests can be accepted either from the hideout or through the command menu. After filling the conditions of the quest, report and complete. A request can be completed either at the hideout or through the command menu. Okay. Hey, Ren. You're not poor, but I want you to talk to you about something. Can you come up see me when you have the time? Some requests can be added by, by speaking to your teammates in the fan of these. Try to talk to them? Sure. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. Just four requests. All at once. All right, then. Well, I could always use extra EXP. Sure, sure. let's go do those. Right out of check with this moto. Oh, no brainwash. Sweet. So I can actually just ignore Mare and Karen. I can just keep attacking whenever an attack like that's coming at me. That sounds like fun. Like finagle my face inside. Wait. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> are you here to pray, or are you left to your fortune? Uh, is there a fortune right here? It must come in all shapes, size. Fun to look at. Can I do a praying thing here? Do I get like a buff if I do? Hey. It's almost time. Maybe we should donate some money. Hey. So that can be the option. There's so many different types of charms and talismans. Humans must have different, uh, many different worries and stresses. Ain't that the god? What? Yo! What? What do you mean free stats? Hello? Yo! Just Wait a second. These accessories are actually good. Hello? <laughs> Knee high boots. How am I taking electronic things off? Stop questioning it. Let's give you the victory charm and then give Futaba the. Oh, excuse me, the breath sash. So she doesn't need to attack, she just needs to stay alive. Yeah. So we finally made it to the castle, like the last place where a boss fight the most video games, right? You think that means we'll get some hands on some epic ass loot? Yes, that's exactly what it means. And exactly like this in the stores, we're uh, really going at it like a big party of fans here. I never thought that happened. But I guess it's something we all want to do at some point or other in our lives. Swinging a big sword, shooting magical beings, fighting evil. Yes! Yes, that is true. Anyone who says they don't is a liar. Yo, let me shoot. <laughs> is the day I can throw a Hadouken is the day I die. Let's go. Yes. I think everyone should be holding up the heat for the now. But now we have to keep ourselves properly hydrated and energized so we don't get worn out. I remember seeing a lot of local foods and drinks being sold at the Sendai Station. Perhaps you should pick some up healthy snacks or something for their cooking repertoire. Already did that. Thank you, though, Futaba. Not Futaba, Haru. You don't have anything new, right? No, it doesn't seem like it. In before, because I didn't check a third time. Now it's the next day, I'm gonna miss out on stuff. Why does he get all the attention? My ball's way better. Nah, no, better than boy. It's quite hot today. It's another hot one. I wish I had something that I could use to block the sun. By the way, are you thirsty? When I bought a drink from the vending machine, I dropped a second one for free. I never heard of them before, but the designs are pretty cute. Hmm. Let's see. Moot full Zunda soda. Refreshing soda infused with creaminess of milk and a sweet, salty taste of famous Sendai Zunda. Take a swig and enter a mootful new moot world. Beloved beverage of Date Masamune himself, the bottle claims. <sighs> yeah, that sounds kind of like kind of reach. The description doesn't sell me on it at all either. That's not how. How would you know what he'd want to drink? Wait, Zunda soda and milk? It's called what now? That doesn't sound appealing at all in hindsight. Anyway, to Sendai Station. I love these slice of life sections so much. I know a lot of people out there are like, oh man, I just get to the point, but no, 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 the slice of life is like one of the main reasons you play Persona, man. At least the modern ones, anyway. Persona 1 and 2 are effectively strictly JRPGs. It was only until Persona 3 they started adding slice of life mechanics. And I like slice of life. I like anime, I like shows like that. Hell, one of my favorite cartoons right now is called Craig of the Creek, and it's literally just a slice of life show. It's pretty yeah. good. Dude, and the dad's voiced by Terry fucking Cruz. Oh, Ren, you get my message? Uh, this might be kind of out of nowhere, but do you like sweets? Eh, I'm a 
a Vegas fan. Aww. Well, there's a lot of different kinds, so you might find something that you like if you keep looking. This really isn't a big deal or anything, but Sunday's got this regional specialty suite, Aww. right? I figured since we're here, we should try as many new things as we can. Well, it turns out there's a lot more to try than I thought. I thought we have enough time to get to the mall, so I'm not sure which ones to go for. Oh, I know. You set up so people can send requests to your phone, didn't we? Here, send. Ooh, what's that? I think someone sent you something. You should probably accept the request right away. I think whoever sent it would be really happy if you helped them out. Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Looks like Lady On sent your request. It's not really the kind of request you'd make to Dan of these, though. We gotta help Lady On. I mean, we can't let our friend down. We should let her hand stop sipping. I've confirmed the request. Oh my god. Oh, this cousin Geezer. Better. I can't. I can't believe. In other words, there's a good chance a person exists somewhere in the real world. Some kind of reason, some not to me. I mean, I was, there's my Android and someone like that. Yes, there's someone who probably skeeved on. There have been plenty. Literally, one of the main plots for the entire fucking persona is you being skeeved on. I think I'm going to check out the stories and see if that clears my head. Sorry, on. Uh, so Futaba's there. Let's go talk to Futaba. And then we'll do these five requests that are just sitting here. Why, why did they do this, my, my honey pie? We swore our love to each other. You told me how special I was, so why? Uh, already heard your stuff. What's up, Futaba? No. Probably the building's got an observation deck. And the view at night is amazing. I assume we probably got one of his castle. I can see, just imagine looking down at us for one. Uh. Foolish adventure, such shallow minds are no match for me. <laughs> well, yeah, I gotta respect his commitment to the pit. I, feel, I have a feeling we're gonna have to hit him with everything we've got. It's gonna be a slog of a boss battle if that Alice one was anything to showcase by. Uh, she it didn't she didn't hit hard. Well, he she did hit hard, but her stuff was avoidable. But God, such a fucking slog. <laughs> I never noticed how tall Yusuke is. Interesting. The elaborate traps, the Pearson Four, it all seems to fit suit Natsumi somehow. One must admit, his own personal style. With some effort, he might certainly shine as a rider. So I'll have to ponder some details now. People's desires mm. are at stake. Yusuke seems very concerned with Natsumi. Natsumi just expected something important Yusuke, which aside from quite clearly. So why the concern? I don't understand. Because he gets it. He's an artist as well. I do this. Cling to the false glory won't shield him from the truth forever. Please, Lord Masamune. Watch over us as we explore Natsumi for the fraud he mm. Expose Natsumi for the fraud he is. Yusuke's really in is serious about this. Yes, he is. Alright, let's go do those five requests, apparently. Jesus Christ. Kinda wish I could run in the overworld. Just to speed things up a little bit. Save on the off chance my game crashes. You can never save enough in games. Anyone who says that you can is a fucking liar. I'll probably be rotating my saves to be safe. Uh, let's cook. What's on the menu? Let's do this. Don't have the ingredients for that. Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. All done. What's on the menu? What are you going to make? We're going to make this. Whew. Good work, chef. Okay, that should be enough. Requests. Request. There are two types of requests. Requests that can be only completed once, and those can be completed multiple times for repeated rewards. Requests that can be repeated multiple times have a first time reward and a repeat reward. Check the details of the request to check. There really is only. I should only do each one once. Prison mail, part one. Trickster, have you made good use of the bell room? I shall issue you an assignment so that you may bring out your full attention just like the old days. Show Archangel with our. That'll be easy. Time to get to work. So literally, I just have to. I can already do that. You're doing this one. Oh my god! I gotta buy. <sighs> Fine. You're accepting this request. I strike a weakness. Top of here. So there's these snake-like shadows in Sendai Jail. Looks like they got some good weapons. I want to find out their weakness. Ice. Time to get to. You're doing this one. All three of my sons keep blowing their money on Alice crap. We're gonna lose our house at this rate. What? Have, what's it gonna take to help them? So it's literally just abuse their weaknesses, understandable. The memories of battle past can improve your strength. This is the path that should be to lead to your battle with Alice Haraki. Followed and challenge her once more. I gotta fight her again! Okay, let's do our best. Okay! You are already working on this one. Are you double checking the request? Zundai Shake and Daifaku. Uh, I can do that one right now. Let's go look for that Shake and that Daifaku thing. We've got whatever you need. Oh. Is that all for today? Thank you. That's a pop. It's Thank done. you very much. Is that all for your... Thank you. Well, that's that request done. <laughs> that was easy. Get to work. I mean, I'll take that free bond experience. This Your request. request. Are you double checking the request? Report. What? Whoa, you actually brought them. 
They look so good. Let's put them on each other and eat them as a group later. Her put is such a selfish request. Seems you just kind of brighten the mood, don't you think? I agree. It's times like these I want to put a smile on everyone's face in whatever way I can. At least, <laughs> at the very least, I know I'll be happy. Thanks a bunch. Hey, free bond experience. Um, I guess we'll do the one in Sendai Jail first, and then we'll go do the ones in. Or should I do the ones in? I'll do the ones in Shibuya Jail. I guess it only makes sense. All right, let's go. I can do the Archangel one, but I'm gonna finish leveling him out first. Explored, go from a checkpoint. Explore jail. Alright. Please tell me I can I have a way of checking requests uh, from here. Time to teach these cranks a lesson. I think I see something over there. Hmm. Uh ah, here Here's we go. What I found. So I, I gotta fight a succubi. Side path of castle front area. Got it. I can see it. Check out that shadow. Not sucked by. Free to all attack, you guys. Go. No mask. All right, let's go. What was the place one more time? This is the request. You're already working on this one. Side path of castle front area. Hmm. Let's go. I think it, no, I should just go straight forward from here, I think. And then I can just go straight forward from here. Oh, wow. All right, attack. Let's suck to be a jobber. Oh, hi. <laughs> Good job, everyone. I did not expect this enemy to still be here after killing the first one. I thought it was a combined group. So 705. Castle side area. So it should be to the right. Correct? Why don't that's, we see what that is? That's where the request is. Specifically, kill you with a. This is the request. You're already working no. on this one. You're already working on this one. Oh, I have to defeat them with snap. Okay. Okay. Oops. Oh wait, no, I beat it. Okay, okay, good. And now let's go fight Alice again, I guess. My. Hey, it's Morgana and uh, Haru. 
One thing about this game that I am rather happy about is how much more... So, one problem with Persona 5 when it came to Haru's story is that she didn't change. Haru stayed the, effectively the same from start to finish, right? That's because her story plotline was taken up by the space of Morgana's story plotline, where he's kind of like coming into terms with, with who he is. So, at the end of the... She started off as the happy-go-lucky, just kind person who has a sadistic side. It ended the game exactly like that, whereas every other character got to grow and change. And hers was just her coming out of her shell. So because of that, I like how now it's like every single time she gets to be on screen, which is a lot more than Persona 5, she just gets to steal the show. The path opened up. It's her battle. Like literally every single time she talks to anyone, it's just like, it's great. They really they didn't need to play this cutscene again. <laughs> they didn't need to play the cutscene again, but sure. Yeah, yeah, we, we've already said all this. You don't need to play it again. Ah! So, Reggie's that. Here, that's Taronda. Back up. Uh, yeah, hack switch here. Well, you don't need to do the same dialogue either. Like, why? Augie. More. Augie. those crackers. Sorry, Haru. Nope, you're sorry. You do not have something that can do super effective damage to her. No, sorry. Nope, you're not following up. Your name's not Joker. Why didn't I change my... In hindsight... Yeah, 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 I know. You don't have to tell me all this again. They really did not need to play effectively the same fight all over again. What the hell? Oh, God! Ah. Sure, I'll let you hit with the sledgehammer. And then I'm going right back to Colin. Attack. Dang. Now that I have more power for Persona and just know her combos and shit, and I have actual, just better everything, this is far easier. Yay, you're going to your second form. Let's go. Come on, come on. I'm wasting time here. Joker will be really good against that. He could have kept attacking there, in fact. I 
wonder how easy this would be on easy mode now that I've gotten stronger and have Persona that are proper for this fight. Showtime. Yeah, I, I know you're, you think you're a threat, but I've literally done this. Sorry, man, you're stuck in a time loop here, so you're just gonna die. One more. Oh. You are not sledgehammering it into that. Okay, I need to get out of here. It is good to know that I can animate and cancel into that, though. Keep the wedding. And the main reason I'm sticking with On right now is just because I can get her her bond up so I can get her all her attack motions. No. No. I wonder. That works! Yo! Alright. Nice! Yo! Hey, there it is. Oh, cool. So I can just instantly cast Taronda. Ah, sure. Kill him with this map. Why not? Huh. That was way easier than last time. Turn I just didn't give her a chance to breathe then. All right. Easy. We'll take those bond points. Thank you. Can I only do it once? So it seems. Alright. Six more bond points. Isn't there one that makes mask appear more often? Items dropping. Yes, there is. But that's locked right now. Okay. Um, I don't know. Sure. More strength. More magic. I believe that was all of them here. Sensing any. Excuse me. Here's what I found. Okay, did that, did that, and then I can't quite do that yet because I'm still not there yet. <laughs> Back to my favorite characters. I was not bad, but again, I've said it like three, four times now. I'm going to say it again. I prefer the sluggers. Let me just fucking... Throb someone's head in with a goddamn mallet. Show me your true self. Focus. Only all battles were this easy. I can okay, see it. let's keep it moving. Where's that other enemy? That? There you are. I'll reveal your true form. <laughs> Maybe I'm also doing this is so I can get more masks. Because that's giving me my persona points. Focus. God, I hope there is a way, like in Persona 5, where it's just like, hey, where you get Ryuji's ability, farm masks just by running into people. They did not need to buff that ability that hard in that game. I'm not complaining that they did, but God, they broke Ryuji's ability. You wish to strengthen it? Uh, I can't do you. How much power will you add? I can do you, but it still won't be enough. Not sure why not, though. 
The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Almost there. Hopefully your last skill on high pixie won't be great, so I don't feel bad about just using finally. Jail. Better quit while we're ahead. No, just quit since there's nothing else to do here. <laughs> we finished the request here, so there's no reason to go on. Always oh, feels nice to go back and bully enemies that were kicking your ass for. There's sure. nothing better than just stomping on a boss. <sighs> Do you see her smile? Hey, Ren, I want to see Lady Smile on smile brighter than before. Let's make a deal. That's true. Sure, I didn't even see Lady on smile. Here's a thought. Do you think we can find something even more amazing than the stuff we just got Leave for her? Even more amazing. So super amazing, then. I got it. Let me do a search. Ooh, thanks, Sophia. Sweets found. It's got hits on extremely limited quality of parfait that some have even called legendary. <gasps> legendary? It's called the Zunda Supreme Parfait. Yes. Perfect, Sophia. Where do you find it? Unfortunately, there aren't any details of the exact location. There have only been reports of it being seen in Mount Elba Park. If it's streaming limited quality, I bet you can probably count the number of people who bought it on one hand. If we can get any more info online, then we should probably have to go around at the park. All right, okay, I'm registered this is a request for Morgana. Once you've extended it, let's head to the park and see if there's anything we can learn. Oh my god, I'm about to help my cat fucking simp. All right, sure, why not? Morgana, I love you, so why not, man? Lending a paw. I need your help making Lady on smile. What, what do we come back into the camp report? Don't worry about it. Oh, the Zunda Supreme Parfait. I saw someone buy one at a cafe around here. Ooh, we got a lead. Apparently it's not on their official menu, though, so you can't just order one either. Oh, you can't order it. Is there some kind of trick with it? Oh, you know, I was thinking the person who bought the parfait was talking to a lady outside the shop. Does that mean the manager? I wonder what they were talking about. That's the person who's grumbling. Can I help you? So I need... Okay, there's the manager. So I need to get information about the manager. Probably not from you. You're still, like... I mean, rightfully butthurt over people's... Not noticing your work. Fair enough. So I need to find someone who's talked to the manager. How about you? The Zunda's... Supreme Parfait? Oh, I think I heard one of those visitors at the shrine mention that name. I think they said I think the manager has to specifically acknowledge you or something. What did you say? So we need her their approval. What do you have to do to get that? Hey, hey. I was hanging gourds. How come? It seems the idea is that people expel the evil from their bodies and up into these gourds. So they're actually some charms. People sure do come up with these interesting ideas sometimes. Wasn't there a story in, like, Journey to the West where there was, like, an evil containment or a uh, gourd? And then again, there was also one in uh, Naruto, and then there was one in Dragon Ball as well. Remember, he got stuck in the in the gourd, and the reason he didn't get, like, melted into the into the stool, into the pool is because he used his power pole to, to, like, catch him to the sides and stay aloft. And then in the Journey to the West, they tried to cook him in a pot, and it was like, Haha, I'm Wukong, nice try, fuckers. Can I help you? Is under Supreme Parfait? I see. You've heard the rumors, is that it? Very well. If you're pleased, provide the password. Sweet. Password? We didn't hear anything about a password. Mm. You know it. Sorry. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Uh, we got the right place. Now we just gotta need that password. Please tell us the password. On time means depends on it. Hmm? Who said that? Uh, Sophia! It sounds like you're planning to give in to someone important to you, but I'll make no exceptions. Just the other day, a man came begging to get one of his honey pie. Honestly, I refused him. No doubt he's out searching high and low for the password as we speak. Who's looking for it too? Let's go back to square one. Isn't this for your honey pie? Lady On isn't my honey pie. I just want to make her happy or smile or, you know. If that's so. Hmm, how about we head to the station for now? Someone might there might know something. Yeah, we could have done all that. We've done all we can here. Let's try asking around the station. I'm sorry to keep dragging you along, but I got, just gotta make Lady On smile. Actual simp. Uh, Morgana, I never change. Right, so we're looking around the station for someone who has bubbles over their head. 
what are these people over here doing? Impressive. Pretty big station. I guess this is doing pretty well for itself. Okay, not over here. Let's check out the arcade then, maybe? Oh, wait, wait. I hear grumbling. Hmm? Oh, no, it's just talk people fawning over him again. You really should be allowed to run in the overworlds. I don't see there's any reason not to. I need any information from on. She doesn't have any new bubbles. Any information from Taba? No. How about this grumbling guy? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. Was it when we went to eat the Sunday Supreme Parfait together? Was it because I couldn't get through to that fussy manager? I had no idea at the time. Who knew you needed a password for the parfait? After all my French search, I finally figured it out. It's Zunda Shiro. But it doesn't matter anyhow. Not without you here. Oh, my sweet honey pie. Mm. Hey, did you hear that? It sounded like he lost his honey pie. Regardless, Zunda Shiro should be access to our legendary dessert. Yeah, now we just gotta tell the cafe manager at Mount Oba, and the parfait is ours. We're just one step away from making on smile. Let's head back to the cafe at Mount Oba. I I feel kind of bad that we literally just used him for main information and then he just left him. It's kind of a dick move. But hey, how's it go sometimes, man? Okay, and Zunda Shiro. It's the map of the area. It's oh, wait, no. I want to talk to the must manager. Can I help you? Oh, you're here for the Zunda Parfait. Then I'll please provide the password. All right, man. Let her have it. My excitable little kitty, uh, little kitty, isn't it? I gave the pat manager the password. Excellent. Then the Giro is a legendary type of soybean, born from many years of selective breeding. That is the meaning of the password. Oh, looking closer, I can see that you have the eyes of a true hunter, and one who's always ensnares his sweet, sweet prey. Those glasses can't hide your passion for sweets from me. No, sir. Very well. The Sunday Supre is yours to purchase. Wait, I went through all that, and I still have to buy the thing? What do you mean? <laughs> That's some bullshit. Zunda Supreme, a very special parfait made from rare type of automatic. Like. Ah, I'll buy one of these while here, sure. Well done. Looks like we have no problem purchasing it. I'll contact Lady On once you mark the requ uh, request as fulfilled in your phone. Oh, I can do that from here, right? This is the request. You're already working on this one. Yeah. A Zunda Supreme Parfait? You guys really got this for me? Delicious. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful! It looks so good, I'm freaking out over here! All in a day's work, as long as it means seeing Lady Out smile, right, Ren? I owe you one! Forgotten Ren, you guys are the best. <laughs> Lady Out smiles, already as the sun. Ren, Sophia, thanks, I couldn't have done it without you two. We're kind of smiling too, I'm glad I was able to help. Thanks, Sophia. Hey, why don't we all eat together? You guys went through all the trouble after all. Aw, oh, Lady Out's so contrary, how can we say no? Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I should probably finish these. Good job. And this one as well. Get his sword. Alright, gotta fight Lamias for that one. Got a new sword for him. Headhunter Ladle? A replica ladle used by monster cats while hunting human heads? What the fuck? I have many questions. Let's see. Anyway, everyone's endurance increase. Oh, I did it twice. Fuck. Ah, whatever. It's not bad. That being said, I think for right now it's a pretty decent place to stop. So we've helped the cat simp. We've learned that we can go back to our, the previous jails, and when we go back, we're probably finally gonna fight Natsumi. Either way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, whatever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later.